Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So here's another combo video for you guys. So I'm actually, I forgot to announce this a while back, but I'm no longer going to call these the how to play videos. I'm just simply going to do uh, test hands. So from now on, they'll just simply be called test hands plus combos. And well, you pretty much get the gist of it. Uh, let me go and readjust my camera here just slightly and do some slight adjustments here. And yep, that's good. All right. So anyway, let me go and shuffle up my deck. And yeah, so this time it's gonna be Shadal's, uh, my most recent Shadal deck, in fact. Uh, if you haven't checked out the deck profile yet, I'll post the link down in the description down below. And yeah, so as usual, I'll just do two test hands, you know, just to kind of give you guys an idea of how this deck really plays. And yeah, figured, why not? So Shadal's is actually not too bad right now. It's actually a really fun deck. It's, it can actually do quite a lot, actually, because of the fact that with the new Magistus uh, engine, it just adds a lot of consistency that the deck really needed. And yeah, this deck really puts in a lot of work. So yeah, anyway. So the first hand, this is gonna be the going first hand. Usually I always like to go second with this hand because I wanna see what my opponent is playing first and then kind of go from there. But again, just for the sake of the video, I'll just do two different test hands, one going first, one going second. Okay, so we already got like two good starters right here. Okay, Nail Shit All Aerial. Usually I don't like to see that card in hand, but that's fine. Okay, so we got Super Poly now, and... Uh, ooh, perfect, Reliona. So Reliona actually does uh, do enough for me here. So, because we're going first, we're going to go ahead and start things off by normal summoning Reliona. So what Reliona does is that she adds any Magistus um, spell or trap card, in which case you're going to search out your Magistus invocation. Uh, so basically she gets you access to a fusion spell. And now, what we could, what you could do now if you wanted to, you could actually go ahead and link off the Reliona into a, like a Artemis. Again, only if you really want to. Uh, the whole idea behind this is just simply to put like resources in the graveyard. But again, this is not really required. You could always just leave it like that. But anyway, since we already have Artemis out, now what we could do is activate Magistus Invocation. So you can fusion summon anything as long as you use a spellcaster as fusion material. So. We're gonna go ahead and pick out Squamata and Artemis. We're gonna go ahead and make our Il Shaddaa Construct and make sure you always put it in the extra monster zone for this combo to work. So, now for chain links. Uh, uh, Construct chain link one, Squamata chain link two. With Squamata, you're gonna dump a uh, Rush Shaddaa Incarnation. All right, and then with the uh, Il Shaddaa Construct, you're gonna dump reach it all windy so even though i already have one in hand it's good that you, you'd still want to go and at least send another one to the graveyard that we can get access to your second aerial because again this is the reason why i run two aerials now in case if i open up with one i can at least you know still bring out the second one if i need to so now we're going to go ahead and special summon her and face down defense and then we're going to go and properly shuffle here all right now the next part of the combo now what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and link off your el shadal construct to make your gravity controller. Now keep in mind, you don't wanna use El Shadal Constructs effect right now because we don't really have any targets other than Reshadal Incarnation, but we do need that in the grave. So yeah, don't use uh, Constructs effect to recycle. What we're gonna go ahead and do is use Reshadal Incarnation's effect. We're gonna banish that in the El Shadal Construct. You're gonna target your face down Nail Shadal Aerial, put her in face up defense effect from, well, flip effect. You're gonna special summon back the uh, Construct from the banished pile and face up a defense mode. Effect again, because this is actually not a hard ones per turn, it's a soft ones per turn. You can dump yet another shit all card to the grave. This time you're gonna aim for schism. All right. And now what we're gonna go ahead and do is link off the El Shadal construct with the aerial. You're gonna make IP Mascarena. Now again, this combo has been, has already been posted before. Like everyone should already know what this does. But again, this just so people who haven't seen that this combo yet, you know, it just gives you more options. Anyway, Il Shadal Constructs effect, add back your schism. And next, last but not least, you can actually just sit two cards face down and just pretty much end your turn right there. So during your opponent's turn, you know, at any given time, if you know you're playing up against a deck that does a few special summons, like you can play Schism at any given time. So like, let's say your opponent special summons a dark monster since you know, dark is still like one of the best attributes. You could essentially banish a uh, Shadal monster, in which case I'll probably banish the Ariel and the Squamata. Or if you wanted to, you could also banish the uh, Construct. But for this case, I'm actually gonna go and banish the Squamata. 
and you can make Wendy. Or not Wendy, uh, Winda. Uh, El Shadal Winda, I'm sorry. And then you get to send that monster your opponent summons, since it's the same attribute as Winda, to the graveyard. And keep in mind, this sends. It does not actually target or destroy, so that's actually pretty good. So at this point, your opponent's pretty much locked out from special summoning any more, more monsters with Winda out. Now, of course, if at any given time, if your opponent still happens to summon yet another monster in some way, like just a normal summon, you could also go Super Poly, but we're not going to do that right now. But another thing you could do is use IP Masquerina's effect. Use uh, just use her in the Gravity Controller's Link Material during your opponent's turn. You can essentially just make Nightmare Unicorn, use the effect, I guess I would discard the Wendy, I guess, um, and then just like bounce back a monster in. That pretty much sums up my special summon for the turn. But yeah, that's still pretty good overall. So yeah, a lot of cool things you can do with that. But anyway, that's just the general gist of what this deck does. All right, this time we're gonna go ahead and reshuffle everything up, and then we're gonna go and do our going second hand. Because again, going second, to me, I like it better because I get that extra draw, and that extra draw always comes in clutch. So, all right. Let's start over. Oops, forgot a couple of cards here. So, now that combo I did with Re Leona, you can actually do a similar combo with Mathematician, which I'll show you if I, if I open up with one. And we'll pretty much just take it from there, but let's just see what I draw into now. Alright, we'll do a cut, reshuffle, and one last cut. Alright, so our new hand is... Okay, Ariel again, which is surprising. Okay, Mathematician, so this time I actually do see one, but let's see what else we get. Okay, another Skulmata, that's not too bad. Ooh, Cypher and Gear Gamma, so that's actually really good going second. So let's see. Ooh, and Shuttle Fusion. So this actually works out to my favor because of the fact that I have Shuttle Fusion and Frame Lord, or not Frame Lord, but Cypher and Gear Gamma, and I'll explain why. So your opponent goes first, he establishes his board, and at this point, you pretty much know your opponent will most likely have some extra deck monsters. Now, now because we're in a control format, not every deck's going to fully utilize the extra deck, but in case your opponent does have one, you know, at least you know that your shit all fusion is live. So we draw for turn. Okay, so this time we got Falco. Falco is actually not too bad. It actually brings in the grind game. Now, for this combo, what we're going to go ahead and do is first, we're going to go ahead and like bait out your opponent with Shadow Fusion. Your opponent's most likely going to use Ash Blossom because Ash Blossom is like one of the best hand traps right now. So if your opponent tries to ash the Shadow Fusion, you can negate it with Cypher and Gear Gamma, special summon that, and bring out the, uh, the Cypher and Driver, and yeah, you're pretty much set to go. And the best part about it is that because of the fact that we're going second, these are good light targets for your fusion monsters, and so on. Now, before I proceed any further, let's do this first. We're going to go ahead and uh, let the Shadow Fusion resolve. We're going to go ahead and send... I'm trying to think what would be good. Actually, you know, we probably could just go ahead and use one. Actually, you know, better yet, we're going to use this. We're going to use uh, Trick Clown, and we're going to go Squamata. That way, at least I get my two chain links here. So, I won't actually have to use the Mathematician combo after all, but again, Mathematician is still good because you can still send whatever you want to the grave. So, we're going to bring out El Shadal Construct. Now, we're going to do chain, three chain links. Chain link one, El Shadal Construct. Chain link to Squamata, chain link three, Trick Clown. So we can special summon hat. We lose a thousand life points, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, with Squamata, of course, same thing. We're going to send the trap card. In Construct, we're going to dump a uh, Free Should All Wendy. All right. So Wendy's new, Wendy's effect, we're going to special summon another copy of Ariel from the deck and face down defense. So there we go. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is this. So same thing as before, we're going to go and link off that construct. We're going to make our gravity controller. And at least this time now we can use constructs effect to actually bring back our shadow fusion. But first let's go and bring out the uh, gravity controller. And now we can add back shadow fusion. So at least it's live for next turn if we need to. All right. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is use the trap card again. We're going to banish and banish. Target your aerial. Flip face up. Effect, special summon construct again. Effect, we're gonna dump our uh, schism. And this is why this combo is so broken because um, schism, you always see it, you'll always be able to see it because of this fact. Because the fact that both her and uh, Skullmata can dump this card for you, 
and it's easy to recycle too so like that's why people say like you only need one you don't really need to see two of these so yeah one schism is all you're ever gonna need all right so now at this point we're pretty much good to go uh so for sure we're gonna go ahead and link off let's see what do i have in the extra deck that i can still utilize because unfortunately we can't really uh we can't really uh link off the uh gravity controller this turn because we had to do that but what we could actually do instead is we can actually go ahead and make access code talker if we wanted to we just need like two plus effect monsters so uh and unfortunately ip mascarena only works during the opponent's turn too so let's do this we're gonna go ahead and link off the driver and the trick clown we're gonna go ahead and just make trying to think actually better yet we'll go and take, get rid of this too while we're at it we're gonna go ahead and make nightmare unicorn so like with nightmare unicorn going second thinking about it now this actually works in my favor too because of the fact that you can essentially just discard whatever you want in this case we're gonna go and discard uh let's go ahead and discard the f i don't really want to get rid of the uh the falco actually it, i guess what we can go ahead and do is we're gonna go and discard the shit off fusion again simply because like it's just discard fodder and plus i could always recycle this later so yeah like i don't really feel too bad about it so yeah and then we'll just bounce back whatever card your opponent has and then afterwards what you could do now is link off the uh shut all construct with the nightmare unicorn you can make access code target this way yeah that works oh and thinking about it now too i could have just banished the gravity controller after that and just go start popping cards but it's fine so now what we can do is like if you wanted to do it this way you could banish a uh banish a uh banish the nightmare unicorn from the grave pop a card you know you're pretty much good to go oh i forgot to use construct's effect to add back my shit all schism sorry about that that just slipped my mind but yeah construct you know never forget it just bring back your shit all schism so disregard that but anyway and since you know what i just realized we haven't even normal summoned yet so we can actually further extend if we wanted to. Normal summon a mathematician. Just dump a card. Uh, you know what? Let's just dump Shadow Beast so I can get that draw. And then afterwards, what we can do is this. Uh, let's draw a card first. Okay, El Shadow Fusion. So that actually helps out a lot. So now we can go and just enter the battle phase. You can attack with a uh, Axis Code. You know, you would have targeted your Nightmare Unicorn for this effect. That way he gets that 3,000 attack point boost, so he's at 53. Uh, and then if you wanted to, since quick play spell, El Shadal Fusion, use Mathematician, and pretty much just use the Falco so it can bring itself back. You can make your Squamata now. Not Squamata, I'm sorry, uh, Sheki Naga. Oh, and by the way, I just got my hands on the ultimate rare Sheki Naga, so I'm really happy with that. So attack with Sheki Naga, and then attack with Gravity Controller with whatever damage you have left. And honestly, like, at this point, you should be able to game your opponent. But if your opponent does survive, you still have Schism. Um, if Shaki Naga can negate the effect of any special summon monster, just as long as you send a shit all card from your hand. And I got two of them, and this not cost of their effects will trigger. So, yeah, this, that's pretty good when you really think about it. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys right now, and I will catch you guys again next time.